During the host's mysterious absence from the program, filling in GMAS Robin Roberts was replaced by a fresh face in the lead anchor's seat. Robin stepped down from the lead anchor position, and Lindsay introduced a Marco Morgan in a recent episode clip. The major snowfall emergency that had occurred in California was announced by Lindsay. She stated that following the severe snowfall, the National Guard had been sent to assist local towns. She and DeMarco looked into all of the recent weather occurrences. Although Robin was not present for this segment, she recently appeared on GMA. She had been on a program with Laura Spencer, and the two had congratulated Rebecca Jarvis on reaching a significant achievement. The two were delighted to acknowledge Rebecca's success with the dropout. When Robin will resume her hosting responsibilities is currently unknown. Sam Champion, in a weird exchange with Robin, emphasized that he ought to end it at the same time. A GMA fan tweeted a footage of Sam and Robin during the broadcast on Wednesday morning. Sam, they claimed, had the finest chuckle on TV. The meteorologist responded to them and said, Bah ha ha ha. RR watches at a BC7 every morning. Hashtag weird brain hash free association. Sam's spouse Ruben Robirb is the subject of RR's comment. Yet it's crucial to concentrate on what made Sam laugh so loudly. Robin began the clip by stating, I adore the way you ended Doom. You can discover the good in a bad narrative, like the one about the person who took that bus. We need improved transit to our airports, and you know that. Sam laughed as Robin continued to make fun of him. He calmed down and admitted, I watch too much morning news. You're aware it's that old brain, Robin. It's a crime, and it shouldn't be happening, I think to myself as I observe this. He went on, and I'm delighted the young man was taken into custody. It's not good. To get to the airport, though, we do need improved transit. I'm not sure what I think about it. Sam was informed by Robin that it simply comes to your head. She shook her head and continued, how your mind works is just as she kept her eyes closed. He burst out laughing once more and continued, placing his palm between his chin and his chest, but, I simply have to stop it at this point. The issue is that, Sam continued to talk about the weather when they both settled down. Because the co-workers are such close friends, they constantly poke fun of one another. Sam and Robin had a brief exchange last month during which he told her that she was being judged. Robin began by saying, Sam, I never imagined myself saying this. This morning, I'll talk to Dionne Warwick and Dolly Parton. At the same time, exclaimed an enthralled Sam. They are discussing their amazing new collaboration, and you will see it here on GMA, said Robin. The two gushed for a while while Sam, 61, announced he would be watching. Robin chuckled to herself at this time. I will always love you, Sam, and that's what friends are for, Robin said. That's like royalty in music. Sam answered, unable to believe what he was hearing. Everything is it. Don't forget to take photos. I need a photo of that. Hey, it's through Zoom, so. The crowd began to jeer Robin's decision not to personally address the stars, and Robin's voice faltered as they did so. They will still continue broadcasting. Robin laughed as she said, Yeah, I get it. Sam answered. He then pointed to a person who was off screen to his left. I simply want you to know that you were judged by that end of the room, he said, alluding to Robin's statement that the meeting had been conducted through Zoom. At her error, Robin started laughing out loud. But, I still think the Zoom is an excellent purchase and I like it. I'm grateful, Sam, I appreciate that. Sam answered with a broad grin, we'll be watching. Because friends are for that, she replied.